I feel like I, I don't even know how to film an intro anymore. I forgot how to do it. Oh, I can't even get my words out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I feel like I could throw up right now. I could like easily throw up. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, thank God, just a burp. Ooh, those are risky ones. Let's jump into like the actual situation. Ah, can you tell that I'm like so giddy and nervous? So Morphe and I both posted our like little teaser video clip today on Instagram and there's been so many comments of people being like, another collaboration with Morphe, what's this one gonna be? You already have your Jaclyn Hill palette. Well, you're onto something. So a year ago, Morphe and I released this palette right here called the Jaclyn Hill palette. And as you guys know, because I made it very clear because it was such a long process, this took us a little over two years to develop. And I told you guys several times when talking about this palette that while we were creating and developing those shadows, I actually came up with about around, give or take, 100 different shades for this palette. And because it is only a 35 color palette and we knew from the very beginning that we were gonna keep it 35 colors, I had to narrow that down to this right here. So, the collection that I am now launching with Morphe one year later are all of the other shadows that were kept in the vault. So after we launched my palette and we saw what a success it was, I was like, oh my God, I wish they could have seen all the other shades I have because they're so beautiful and narrowing it down was so difficult for me because I had so many amazing shades. And Linda was like, let's release those too. So we kind of like sat around, like tinkered with that idea for like a month. We're like, should we release them in individual pans? Should we release the Jaclyn Hill palette again and make it like magnetic? And then you can like pop them in and out and change them out. Like we didn't know, we like went back and forth with all these ideas, talking about it every day. And finally we landed on this. So after we came up with this idea, I jumped on a plane, flew to LA, spent a couple of days in the Morphe office, and we pulled all of the shades that I created and formulated for the Jaclyn Hill palette that didn't actually get put into the palette. And I sat there and I said, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and we put it together into different color categories. We broke it down. There were a few other shades that didn't make it. And then there were a few shades I also added. I was like, okay, this color story is almost perfect, but it's missing this one color. It's missing this one finish. So we would add it in. So you know what I'm saying? Like we compiled everything together and then made it even better. That way like it makes sense and it's a great story and they are great palettes. So this right here is 40 additional eyeshadows. It is the same formulation, pressed the same way, same pigmentation as the Jaclyn Hill palette, which we all know and hopefully we all love. It's just so exciting because as you guys know, my formula is not the same as the Morphe standard eyeshadow formula. Linda was so kind to allow me to develop my own formula with them and have it pressed in my own unique way so that it goes on completely differently than their other eyeshadows. So it's super exciting that these are the exact same formula as this palette right here. So if you like this palette, it's the same thing, just different colors. So when I first started posting some videos of the swatches of these shades on my arm, there were some people saying, oh, that looks just like the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's the exact same thing. Why is she doing the exact same thing? Well, it's not the exact same thing, I promise you. But there are going to be similar shades. Like there is a palette here that's all warm tones. And there's also a row in my palette that's warm tones. It's like an extension. It's like the hot older sister to my palette, if you will. Like it complements my palette. This right here is the packaging. You see the all white shiny box. It says Morphe times Jaclyn Hill. And then on the back, there is this big picture of me. It looks like I'm screaming at you to go use my discount code, honestly. Like it should just have like a bubble that says, use code Jack Attack in all caps. Linda actually surprised me with this photo on the box. I had no idea that there was even gonna be a picture of me in the box. And this showed up to my house and I was like, what the? And she was like, like it's my favorite picture of you. I was like, okay, great. So <laughs> that's all Linda, but I like it. Okay, so let's jump into the inside of the box. You can see, so this is the actual vault collection that you have right here. It comes in this stiff cardboard and then it has like a little thing that you pull and it pulls out the four palettes like these. And then the thing that I was really excited that we came up with when we were dealing with like the creative aspect is every single palette has a name along with a theme and the actual palette name has the color that like is associated to the colors in the palette. So this is the green one, this is like the yellow one, this is the purple, and then this is the red. So if you have this laying out on your dresser, you're not gonna be having to go through each one like, oh, which one do I need? On the front of the palettes, you see there's like that little like metallic explosion. There's also that same color story in there. So you can see like green dots, yellow dots, purple dots, and red dots, like confetti. So you never have to like be like, oh, which one is it? Like you know it's by looking at it. So a really exciting thing for me is on the inside of the palette, we have a mirror. 
<laughs> when we launched my original palette, that was one of the biggest pieces of feedback that we got and biggest complaints where people wish that there was a mirror in the palette. But we couldn't have done that. We wanted to, even when it was repackaged, we were like, oh, we want to add a mirror. We tried to, we got some samples. It was not going to work because of the price to put like a big mirror in that palette. It was, we would have to jack up the price. I didn't want to do that. Linda didn't want to do that. So it just didn't happen. Where with these, we were able to keep the price low. It is a smaller mirror and a smaller palette with 10 shadows, same formulation again as the original Jaclyn Hill palette with a mirror and this is $15. Which I have to say, I am so damn proud of this and that price point. I can't even begin to tell you how excited this makes me. And I have personally had the Vault collection in my hands for several months. I've traveled with it several times and I freaking love the fact that it has a mirror. Like when everyone was asking for a mirror in my palette, I was like, why? It's so big, like I wouldn't want a mirror like that. Like I didn't really get it, but with these, I'm like, oh bitch, I get it now. So this palette right here that I just showed you guys, this is called Ring the Alarm, and this is our all warm tone. <laughs> Funny. This palette makes me feel some type of way. And then all the names are actually right there on the front because again, you guys wanted names on the original Jaclyn Hill palette, and we were not able to do that. With this collection, we were able to take all of your feedback and actually implement it. So it's very exciting. I'm just excited. I'm just in a good place, okay? I'm in a good place. So this is our purple themed palette right here. <gasps> this color, Rockstar in the center, obsessed. And this one right here, this was a difficult little biatch, but it is one of my absolute favorite shades of all time. I'm not just saying in my collection, I'm saying of all time. It is such a beautiful satin with metallic glitter in it. It's just like, it's perfect. And then the third palette is what I refer to as the yellow palette. So you'll see like in the marketing campaign, there's like a purple theme, a red theme, a yellow theme, and like a greenish blue theme. And that goes off of every single palette. So this one right here, I chose to make it the yellow theme because when I look at this, I just think of like the outdoors. Like there's something about it that makes me think of like sunshine and grass and just like, beachy and summery, like I love these colors. This shade Coin right here is another one of my favorites in the entire collection. It's so metallic and so foiled and just like such a pop. And this army green down here, and then last but not least, this is Linda's favorite palette. I keep going back and forth. Like one month I'm like, this is my favorite. And the next month I'm like, no, this is my favorite. But this is a good ass palette. So this is Dark Magic. And this definitely has just like that sexual, just like late night, date night vibe. Like I'm in it. In Power Cut right here, this metallic silver is so beautiful. Like in these three shades right here of this bottom row, like these blues and that green, like, <sighs> So this black right here, you guys, no joke, probably the best black eyeshadow I've ever used in my entire life. When we got that down, I wanted to cry. I was like, we're done. I would pay probably $30 just for that one eyeshadow right there because it is the perfect black if you ask me. I honestly, like, I don't even wanna like overhype this collection up. Like I want this video to be so short and sweet even though it's probably gonna be 45 minutes long. Cause I don't wanna sit here and be like, it's so amazing, it's so creamy, it's so buttery, it's so pigmented, it can be yours right now for $49. It's like, I don't wanna do that because it's just so good. It's like, once you get it, once you go swatch it, once you have it for yourself, like, the proof is in the pudding. That's all I'm saying. But use my code. I will hype that up. Code JACKATTACK, all caps. I haven't promoted that in a while. I actually was thinking about it a couple weeks ago and I was like, I don't think I've even mentioned my code on social media in like, at least six months. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, you can check me. But seriously though, my code JACKATTACK in all caps will save you an additional 10% on this entire collection, whether you purchase it individual or as the vault collection. That code will save you 10% on anything Morphe. So morphe.com and any Morphe store, you can use that code in store at the cash register. Just say, I wanna use code JACKATTACK and they will go ahead and type it in and you will save 10% on everything in the Morphe store. All right, let's jump into the swatchy swatches, okay? Because I feel like I don't have anything else to say. So let's start off by swatching Ring the Alarm. Okay, first shade we have is Lolly Right Bitch. I forgot how good my formula was for a minute. Oh, God. I hate that mattes never swatch as good as shimmers. I hate it. Like, it does not matter what brand it is. They never swatch as good. They can't. They don't have as much oil in them. But still, it's annoying. Like, I want a matte to swatch just like that. The next shade is this gorgeous, like, tangerine matte orange. Bitch, it's still good. Next we have on camera, which is uh this gorgeous gold. I'm wearing this on my eyes right now. Sorry, sometimes I like go back and forth, back and forth. And I know a lot of you guys like it when I just do like one swatch. 
but I think it looks prettier when it's like dragged out like this. So you can like see what it looks like when you're actually like blending it on the eye. Now we have the shade Boom, which is a copper. Ugh! This is a metallic shimmer. It's just good. Now we have the shade Alert. I'm obsessed with the shade. This is a matte orange, like a true like pumpkin orange. <laughs> Mommy. Now we have the shade Bomb Ass, which is a shimmer, and this is like a metallic pink cranberry right there, as you can see. Then we have the shade Siren, and this shade is like really special to me. That sounds so silly, but it is it's like special to me because of the fact that it's not a full matte and it's not a full shimmer. It's a beautiful satin, and it has little, little flecks of shimmer in it, so it makes it like really creamy and like easy to apply. It applies differently than any of the other shadows in this palette, and it's just such a pretty like purpley burgundy shade. Next we have the most used eyeshadow in the entire collection for me personally, and this is the shade Mugshot. It is the most beautiful, just like poopy, pukey, yellow undertone brown you've ever seen. Then we have the shade Framed, which was a little biatch to get this formulation. Because of the fact that purples are so hard to develop, this was not an easy one for us at all, but we finally got it down. And let me tell you what, I swatched this and compared it to every single purple that I had in my eyeshadow collection, and I ordered other purples that I didn't own from other brands. I was just like, let's see, because I was so scared that it wasn't gonna be good enough. I swatched it and I was like, Okay. And then last but most certainly not least in this palette, we have the shade Secret, which is like a beautiful, fudgy, chocolatey matte brown. And that looks like that. Honey, that pigment, honestly, that could get me off. So there's the full Ring Me Alarm palette for you. Okay, so now let's swatch Armed and Gorgeous. So the first shade VIP is a white ass white, like shimmer, white. So you can use this as an inner corner highlight. You can use this as a cheekbone highlight. You can use this all over the lid. It's very frosty, very metallic, and very white. Next we have the shade Access, which is like an amazing creamy matte mustard yellow. Ooh, honey. Now we have the shade Guilt Trip, which is like a muted, more pale gold as opposed to on camera from the Ring the Alarm palette. It's like a bam in your face gold that I'm wearing on my eyes. This one is a little bit more pale and subtle. It honestly just looks like pure sunshine. One of my favorite colors right here, which is called Coin, and this one is like such an awesome metallic, like greeny yellow, but look at it, like, ah! Uh! Then we have the shade Agent, which is like this muted kind of like orange caramel shade, and this is a matte as well. Oh my Every single shade that I swatch, I'm like, I'm so obsessed, I'm so obsessed. But like, I am, like, I love all of these so much, like my little babies. Now we have the Matte Army Green, which is in the shade Top Secret. Looks like this right here. Let me blend it out for you. I was trying to give you like one swatch. I just don't like it, you guys. I like it when it's like nice and smooth. Now we have the shade Smooth Criminal, which is a super, super, super warm, like orangey reddish matte brown. Looks like that. Then we have the shade Secret, which is another orange. It's just a completely different tone than Access and Agent. Secret is definitely way more vibrant, as you can see right there. Let me kind of blend it out for you. It's like in your face, bam, orange. Then we have the shade Prowl, which is a cool tone matte brown, because I know that people need their cool tone mattes, so I give you a cool tone brown in there. <laughs> and then the last shade in this palette is Classified, which is very, very metallic. This is more of like a foiled shadow. I would definitely recommend going in with some Fix Plus or something sticky when you're applying this. Otherwise, it's not gonna live its best life on your lid because it's very, very glittery and shimmery, but it's beautiful when it's wet. So there is the full armed and gorgeous palette for you. Okay, now let's move on to Bling Boss, which is the purple palette. First shade that we have is Bling Bling. This is like a lilac kind of shimmery, pinky, purple, taupe. It's just one of those good colors that every collection and every palette basically needs because it's so flattering on so many different skin tones. <laughs> then we have the shade Hush Hush. This was actually difficult for me to put in here, which is why it didn't make it into the first palette that we did because it is a matte, cool tone, taupey purple. I know that people love this color, but it's not a color that I personally wear very often. But it is a great color for your transition area when you are doing 
doing like a purple or a pinky look. So I was like, I have to incorporate it. My sister loves these colors and she was like, if you don't put that damn color in this palette, I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> so if you guys end up loving this color, thank my sister. Next we have the shade Gem, which is this bright ass metallic purple, which I, I love this because I love a good pop of color, especially in the lower lash. It's so creamy. This one just like came out like a dream. We have the shade Pizzazz, which is a pinky kind of purple cranberry. So pretty. We have the shade Mystic, which is a cool tone, deep brown with purple undertones in it so creamy like oh i love we have the shade sparks which as you can tell by the name this is a matte red it's got like a little bit of like a cranberry undertone in it like it's not like red red i'm not gonna go too in depth and bore you guys with why it's so difficult to do a red red it's very complex but this one right here was like the creamiest and most vibrant red that we could get and i love it now we have the shade Glitz and Glam, which is a really, really pretty kind of like, it's hard to explain. It's like a golden beige with taupe in it. And it has like little flecks of glitter. It's so pretty. And this is more of a neutral shimmer as opposed to the other ones. I have a lot of warm shimmers in this palette. This is definitely more of a neutral. I have the shade Rockstar, which is a matte, beautiful purple. Like this purple is everything to me. Like this is so gorgeous. Then we have the shade Ballsy, which is a cool tone lilac purple with gold undertones. It is so freaking beautiful. I cannot even begin. And then last but bitch not least is the shade Berry Treasure. Berry Treasure is one of the coolest shades to me in the world. First of all, just touching it, it's like, it just doesn't even feel like a shadow, like a normal eyeshadow. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like you're touching like silk. You'll see once you have it, like it's it's like touching silk. I don't know if you can see that swatch on my finger. Just the way it looks, it's got so much shimmer in it, but like the shimmer doesn't fall out. The shimmer was pressed in with the black pigments. So it's got this purple, pink, glistening glitter shimmer along with this like pigmented black. Like it is just so unique and so beautiful. So that right there is all 10 shades from Bling Boss. Can you guys see that Berry Treasure color up close and see what I'm talking about? Like all that sparkle in there, like. <gasps> all right, last palette in the collection is Dark Magic. This palette is so beautiful and I think it is so unique and just versatile, like I love this palette. So the first shade I'm just gonna let you know, it basically doesn't show up on my skin tone. So just be aware, like to me, this first shade, Poof, is basically what I use all over the lid before I go in with an eyeshadow look. It's not gonna show up on me. I'll show you, like, you can barely even see it. It's like, just a little, a little bit of a peach undertone in it, you can kind of see. But we swatched on other skin tones where you actually can see it, and I promise the pigmentation is good. It's a good shade. It's just like doesn't show up on my skin tone at all. It's way too close. Again, this is one of my favorite colors in the entire collection. This is in the shade Power Cut. It is such a beautiful foiled, very metallic silver, and it's a neutral silver. So like it's not super warm or super cool. It's just perfect. Then we have the shade Shh which is a matte cool tone brown. I made this for the transition area of the eye. Then we have the shade Trickery, which is such a beautiful shimmery green. This green to me is just so different than any other green that I have seen that rhymed. Like it just doesn't have any undertones of anything. Like it doesn't have gold in it. It doesn't have blue in it. It's just such a true beautiful metallic green. I love this color. Then we have the shade Diversion, which is like a genuine shimmer taupey brown. So pretty. Now we have Potion, which is a matte army green, and you guys know that I am into this color. Then we have the shade Busted, which is a matte deep blue. I think the shade is so unique, it's so different. And I'm gonna be honest, I hate the way these swatch. This is the thing that no one ever talks about, and it makes me crazy, like I watch people myself included, swatch things on camera, and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful, but the swatches don't look that good, and you're just kinda like, ah, I promise it's beautiful. Like, it makes you uncomfortable. Like, I'm telling you, these swatches drive me a little crazy because they're not the same as when you actually apply them to the eye, and that's what makes me crazy about swatches. Like, I wanna see it actually applied on the lid because that's what matters. At the end of the day, I'm not swatching the shit on my arm, I'm wearing it. But I was a psychopath about this blue right here. I actually worked very hard on this in the past year because it just wasn't right. And then I ordered tons of blues from tons of different brands that were all mattes, and I compared it, and this was the best one that I swatched. So I was like, okay, 
we're in a good place. Moving on. Now we have the shade Inside Job, which is a matte, very dark, kind of like huntery green. But it's got like a hint of blue in it, but not too much blue. It's more green than blue, but it's very different. Then we have Mojo, which is a matte, very, very dark, cool tone brown. And this one is really, really creamy. Like the way it applies is just beautiful. And then last in the entire collection is what I personally think is the best black I've ever used in my life. And it is in the shade Temptress. What makes this so unique is it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but like it's not the kind of sparkle like glitter. It's not gonna have fallout, but it's just such a small amount that you'll never actually see on the eye, but it makes it easier to blend. And we were able to put more oil in this one. So it is like jet, jet black. This to me is like the color of like ink. It's so beautiful. And there we have Dark Magic. So that's it, you guys. Like, I don't know how to outro this video. Just like I didn't know how to intro this video. But I am just so excited. I'm so grateful. And I sound cheesy sometimes. I know I do. I do. So I, like, try to cut myself off and stop. But I'm just so thankful for all of this and, like, the opportunity to collaborate with Morphe again on this and extend my palette into the vault collection. I'm just, I'm so thankful. It's so cool and it's all because of you guys. So thank you for just riding with me and sticking around for everything that has been going on recently and just I love you so much and I'm eternally grateful. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, especially and also Twitter if you want updates on this collection, any news whatsoever I'll be posting. It does launch on June 26th. I don't know the exact time yet, but of course, soon as we know, we will post that both Morphe and myself on our social media so that you guys are aware. Again, the entire collection is $49 for 40 eyeshadows, four individual palettes with mirrors, good packaging, good formula, and then $15 each individual palette and you will be able to get that on morphe.com on the day of launch along with all of the morphe stores and of course like i said you can use my discount code in store or online to also save an additional 10 percent off so whew, that was like a spiel i love you guys and thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you are excited of course leave me a comment down below tell me your thoughts give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to this collection again thank you so much for supporting me in my journey with morphe and the jaclyn hill palette in the first place if you guys didn't love that palette so much this collection would not be happening so thank you so much for spending your heart or money on this and always tagging me and posting photos doing looks with my palette it means so much you guys and it just it warms my heart so yeah I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I don't even know where to start this video. Bitch, I'm excited. Hold on. I gotta compose myself. I need to get all hot and bothered. <laughs> I'm trying to not sweat my ass off. Can you imagine, like, the entire thing is just completely crack and destroyed. There's a shadow everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, I need to, like, knock on wood. Ah, where's the wood? Ah. I'll be here. Living my best. <laughs> Thick thighs save lives, okay? Okay. Bitch. I don't give a shit. I will go in the same, um, what's it called? <laughs> order, yes. Order. That's what I need in my life. I need order. Bitch, I need to order some tacos. But it's beautiful when it's wet. <sighs> That's what he said. Oh, God, that was filthy. Yes, like my inner, like, uh, came out. Don't ask.